Hi everyone, we are at DSCI 2023 in London, UK and we are now standing on the BAE Systems large booth right behind the Hearn model. So Hearn XL AUV is not new, it was unveiled at Euronaval last year. What is new, however, is that BAE Systems announced a partnership with a Canadian company to test the brain of the XL AUV next year on board an AUV uh, designed by that Canadian company. To find out more with me is uh, Tim O'Neill. Tim, great to see you again. Hello, good to see you again. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It's been a very busy show. So what can you tell us about that uh, cooperation between uh, BA System and uh, Cellular? So the, the work that we're doing with Cellular is to enable us to get some of the Hearn capability into water uh, and into the hands of the customer as soon as possible to aid their experimentation process in, in how to employ and utilize XLAUV in an operational scenario. So we're bringing together the existing vehicle of cellular robotics, the Solus vehicle, and overlaying some of our Hearn capabilities, specifically the advanced autonomous behaviors, uh, to be able to showcase um, the, the usability of this platform. Uh, and in this instance, what we're trying to do in September is to demonstrate utility in an ISR scenario. Where will this uh, test uh, take place? We're planning to do it in Portland, in Dorset, in the UK, um, hopefully in the summer when we can get some good weather. Uh, and yeah, we'll be looking to invite navies uh, and customers down to come and just see how this work is progressing. Uh, does uh, Hearn has uh, anything to do with uh, the Cedus project of the Royal Navy? Hearn really originated uh, as some of our work to do with CETUS. BAE were looking to, uh, to, to compete with that program. But what we realized in, in working through CETUS is just how significant this capability can be in the underwater battle space. And it was at that point that we decided to invest uh, our own uh, money into developing uh, the idea into Hearn XLAUV uh, to really provide a capability, uh, an operational capability to navies of the future. Very well, Tim. Thank you very much. Thank you. BAE Systems is also showcasing this next generation submarine model. Unfortunately, no one is uh, available to uh, discuss this uh, model with us. It's maybe related to SS and August, maybe not. I don't know, but uh, we'll try to find out more uh, in about two months at the Indo-Pacific uh, trade show in Sydney, Australia. We are now with uh, JFD, who's showcasing for the very first time his Shadow Seal uh, craft for Special Forces. With me today is uh, Philip Jonker from JFD in the Netherlands. Philip, great to see you again. So, what is Shadow Seal? The Shadow Seal is a tactical diving vehicle designed to transport uh, Special Forces horizontally in shallow water. For which type of uh, missions would uh, Special Forces typically use such uh, a craft? Uh, for covert and infiltration missions. So if you want to go to a certain target and you don't want to be seen, this is the perfect vehicle for it. Uh, this is the pre-production model. It's going to be the first production model to be tested as for production. Um, the project started in 2017. It was originated from uh, DMO and NL Marsov. The Special Force at that time requested a vehicle that would uh, keep him warm and also uh, to make sure they enter a mission, an infiltration mission, not fatigued and not cold. Because uh, a lot of the times they had to hang behind the scooter and uh, arrived on a mission cold and uh, fatigued. At that time the um, Ortega uh, craft was one of the first that solved that problem. What's the current status of the project? Do, do, do you have a customer yet? Yes, we have a launching customer in the US. Yeah, they bought two. Uh, and they're going to test it and evaluate it. And of course, we've got a lot of serious and far going discussions with other navies. So, uh, you will be sending this uh, device to, to the US uh, shortly? Yeah, this one is going there very quickly. Yeah, very soon. Last but not least, uh, can you share some performance figures of uh, the Shadow yes. Seal? Yes, it has an 80, 80, 80 kilowatt hour battery, 
and it can go on the surface which has a range of 80 nautical miles and submerged 50 nautical miles. Speeds lay between 4.5 and 5.5 knots. We had now azimuth thrusters, so thrusters without a rudder. That is uh, something that's been uh, evolved from our, the previous one, the Mark 1 Delta. We have uh, autonomy prepared. We already tested uh, a remote control, radio controlled version. So we have all the preparations in line for autonomy in the future. Very well, Philippe, thank you very much. You're welcome. We are now with RDCs of France, who unveiled at the SCI a new device for mine warfare. To find out more with me today is Pierre-Alexandre Co, the business director of the company. Pierre-Alexandre, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. So what's that new device that you are unveiling at the SCI this year? We are very happy to introduce uh, Sonablo, which is an underwater acoustic firing system. Uh, this device eliminates um, the electrical uh, conventional device and replaced by an acoustic order in order to neutralize any underwater mine on the field. That means uh, it is safer for the end user, for the, the Navy diver uh, conducting EOD operations? Absolutely. Uh, by eliminating the wires, uh, you can extend the distance between the diver and the mine up to two kilometer distance and command from the surface all the detonation. It's part of the complete man-on-man -man teaming solution uh, with Sonadive, our diver held sonar, which is used for classification of the mine, but also Nemosense and Comet, our two light and portable AUV that are used mainly for the identification and localization. As you can see, the Sonablo is very compact, carry in one hand and use the same acoustic transducer to communicate with all our system. That's why we are talking about a man-on-man -man teaming solution controlled only by one surface communication module from the surface and enabling to uh, operate the identification, localization, classification and now neutralization. Uh, last but not least, uh, Pierre-Alexandre, uh, what's the current status uh, of the project? Uh, are you currently uh, conducting tests with a uh, customer navy? Yes, absolutely. Uh, this program is conducted by uh, French Navy and uh, DGA, the Directorate General of Armament, for which we have been validating the solution and now entering into the certification side, which is also very important for us in order to protect human beings, as you know, divers. Very well, Pierre-Alexandre. Thank you very much. Thank you.